So the map rumors and leaks for Grand Theft Auto 6 are really starting to heat up as there's been an additional update this week to the rumors, reports, and leaked images that have come out. And that's what we're going to be talking about in this video today. So just to give you guys a quick backstory on what happened, uh, we've been monitoring this set of map leaks for Grand Theft Auto 6 that have been coming out since 2018. And apparently they've all been coming from the same source. And these leaks over time have said the game is going to be taking place in Vice City. But it also looks like there's going to be parts of the Caribbean and even parts of South America that might be included in there as well that we can see from the various islands and parts of the map that are actually shown. Now, I want to remind you guys once again that everything you're seeing so far, there's absolutely nothing official about this. These are only rumors and leaks, and they must be taken as such, especially with a grain of salt. However, it is worth noting, in fact, the images of these maps are certainly not the first times we've seen fans or dedicated communities trying to create Grand Theft Auto 6 leaks. There's been a handful of them in the past that we have discussed some of them look a bit more realistic. Some of them do not. I'm just showing you guys a few examples right now. In fact, this recent one that you're looking at right here actually came out just the other day. It's someone else trying to pass across another very blurry image as something related to do with the GTA 6 map. And I just don't see how this is ultimately passable as real. Like this one is so blurry. This could be a photo of anything for all we know. So needless to say, you do have to be careful when believing stuff on the internet, but there is a history of Rockstar Games from Red Dead and Grand Theft Auto where the leaks have been real. I mean, let's start with Red Dead Redemption 2 first. You guys obviously know about the Red Dead Redemption 2 map, how that was leaked about two years before the game was actually set to release. And remember that that was actually found on NeoGAF. And at the time, everyone was like, there's no way this is real. Those can't be the real locations, et cetera, et cetera. And remember this screenshot right here? A lot of people were like, this is just a mod for Red Dead Redemption. Turns out this is a real location in RDR2 and that map in the background is the Red Dead Redemption 2 world. That also came out years before the release. So that's just Red Dead Redemption there. And remember some of the earliest leaks for Grand Theft Auto V? There was this one photograph that showed up a year before release. It's literally an in-game screenshot of one of the characters in the submarine. And everyone thought at the time that this was completely fake, but it turned out to be a legitimate screenshot. And there were also a number of other leaks for Grand Theft Auto V, like its casting call, and even some of the in-game websites that turned out to be 100% true. So even though you can't believe everything, you do have to take at least some things with a grain of salt and some cautious optimism because in the past they have turned out to be true. Well, it looks like there's actually an update to this and I'm not sure if this makes this entire thing more credible or less credible because the other day another image of the map apparently came out and it's this one right here. And you guys can see that it again looks to be taken with like the worst camera phone of all time at this awkward angle. The person who ended up taking the screenshot has apparently like blacked out some information on the bottom left-hand corner or those wires, and that's the sloppiest cable management of all time. I'm really not too sure, but you guys can see there that it roughly looks like the same image that we have been looking at right here, where you've got this giant island in the top, supposedly going to be Miami, Vice City, parts of South Florida, with another island that's sort of off the coast, whether that's going to be Cuba or Guarma or something else, we don't know. But that matches up perfectly with some of the images that we've seen so far. So is this just a dedicated fan that is trying to get this down almost perfectly? Or is this the legitimate Grand Theft Auto 6 map that's being taken from multiple different angles, pictures, and on different screens? That is the big question right there. Now, apparently, there have been some users on the Grand Theft Auto 6 subreddit that have actually debunked this last map rendition. So, a couple of people have pointed out that the islands themselves, there's something that's off with them altogether, that they don't match, that they are not the same. Other people have reported that this individual just took the image off of online 
and tried to pass it off as their own new leak. In fact, one of the most interesting things was how he actually took the photo of the map as well. Someone ended up capturing a comment before his account was removed. He said, it's incredibly hard to sneak any kind of device into work, but I did my best. The picture is taken from a hidden camera in a pen. I can't imagine it would be hard to get your phone into work. So I'm not going to believe that whatsoever. I don't think this person had to go like James Bond and take this photo in a camera pen. That just sounds a little bit too far-fetched for me. So I think that right there is a little bit disappointing as far as the information goes because I really did want this map to be real. I mean, if you were to stitch together all the images we've looked at so far, this would be a wild Grand Theft Auto 6 map. I'll show you guys some examples right now of what it might look like with it all put together. And it really does look like this would be a giant multi-level map with different locations and different areas to explore. So there would obviously be boats, planes, helicopters, jets, etc. There might even be fast traveling in the game to go from one island to the other so that you didn't have to make the tedious trip out there. So the long story short is if this is real, I think this would be by far the most impressive map that Rockstar has ever created because the main island is roughly about the size of Grand Theft Auto V's map. And then you've got some of the other little islands that would just be big enough to keep them interesting and to explore. And then who knows what other islands Rockstar could add. And maybe that's why we saw the Cayo Perico heist update in GTA V. Maybe that was Rockstar's first little experiment of adding islands to an existing game and to an existing region. Just seeing if they could do it all together without bogging down the PlayStation or Xbox or PC. So long story short, I want this to be real. I really do because I think this is two plus years now of the same interesting maps and leaks being passed off as real. So it does get more and more interesting by the day. But there's just a couple of things here that make me think, all right, this is just a dedicated fan or group of fans that are just trying to trick the community here. Because there are a couple of things that are inconsistent, like why are some of the screenshots look like they're taken from like computer monitors why do they look like some of them are taken from hidden camera pens like it just doesn't match up it doesn't match up something's weird here like i can feel it in my gut that just something doesn't look right here but i would love to hear from you guys in those comments down below or better yet you can reach out to me on my facebook page where you can send photos videos movies and a whole lot more on what you think of this and all the other gta 6 news that we've been discussing recently if you guys did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and Red Dead Redemption videos that I'm doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work, and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But, of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.